Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the beta version of Pinguy OS 11.04. So let's get stuck into it. So obviously we are already logged into the desktop and we have three icons here. Find, install missing drivers. Um, install Pinguy OS, I have already installed it so I'm not sure why that icon is still there. And language um, support. And we have um, Docky on the side in the bottom here. We have computer. Uh, you know, your sort of home folder, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, and your mountable media must appear here. Uh, Docky, let's take a look at Firefox. I presume that it is um, Firefox um, 4. And they have their own sort of Google custom search here. And yeah, it looks like Firefox 4, Firefox 4.0.1. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And they have their, um, arc, you know, their minimize, maximize, and close icons in the top right-hand corner. Unlike Ubuntu, which has them in the left-hand corner. We have Thunderbird. We have Deluge BitTorrent client. I have never used um, this before. Um, the majority of distributions come with transmission BitTorrent client. Um, I haven't really played with this in the past, so I can't really say whether or not it's better. Um, it comes with Rhythmbox as the default music player, or so it appears. It comes with VLC media player, which is good. It means that you should be able to watch um, all of your you know, video files straight out of the box. It's got a terminal and a waste basket, as they like to call it. Uh, and let's see, yep, the Rhythmbox controls are in the volume control, underneath the volume controls, which is always good. Um, and what do we have up here? What is this icon here? Uh, rebuild the desktop. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. Browse collection next photo, download um, photos. Let's click about. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't give you much application though. It seems to be some sort of photo manager or something. And what is this for? Yeah, we've got the Mac style, you know, spinning wheel. Uh, this must be the system resources. Yep, they're both for system resources, so one of them must be CPU and one must be memory, or something along those lines. Uh, the updates, your system is up to date. I'm not going to bother going in and updating it. You know, yeah, they, you know, I'm not sure if the Mac spinning wheel is identical or not. Um, this seems to be some sort of um, search client, typed search. Oh, it's interesting. Oh, and the background must automatically change on its own. As you can see, it's definitely not lightweight. They've got some sort of clipboard. Or, no, it's actually an indicator applet. Um, show deluge. Oh, yeah. I obviously um, didn't close that before. Or didn't close it properly. Uh, this must be to eject. It looks like an eject button. Yep, you can eject probably discs and other um, mountable media. Um, that's obviously for the networking, um, volume control. Uh, you know, um, you know your broadcast accounts and mail and chat, etc. Ubuntu one. You know, the same, you know, the typical GNOME calendar. And um, on the side here, you know, you have all of your statuses you can set for, you know, your chat accounts um, and your broadcast accounts. And you've got your About Me. However, um, you know, the shutdown and log off options aren't here. They're in the actual menu. Uh, let's take a look at the menu. And the first thing you'll probably notice is that it's the Linux Mint style menu. Uh, I'm not sure who created this. I'm not sure if Linux Mint actually created it or not, though it's the same menu more or less. So, you know, we have computer, home folder, network, desktop, rubbish bin for places under system. We have package, man package manager, control center and terminal, and we have lock the screen, log out, and quit. Um, I'm interested to see in Rhythmbox. I know Linux Mint um, removes the um, Ubuntu um, music store. So, uh, no, Pinguy doesn't remove it. 
I know a lot of people that refuse to use Linux Mint because they have removed the Ubuntu Run Store and they all think that's a little bit lousy. Um, what else can I show you? We have applications, you know, the typical categories. Let's just look in each category, make it a bit easier. You know, we have your typical um, accessories um, for the most part. Some of these um, seem a bit new, all tray, drop any application to the notification area slash system tray, uh, catfish file search, let's see what this looks like, oh, yeah, that looks like a nice application, um, what else do we have, cover chooser, download album art for your music, Uh, I will get back to this system part in a moment. Uh, and you can, okay, album images, you can get them from Amazon, Last.fm, Discogs, Google, um, and the artist images from Last.fm, Google. You know, they definitely include um, different, more applications than your typical Linux distribution for different things that cover a more broad range of tasks. Uh, cover Gloobus displayed a now playing song on your desktop. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not anything's going to open there. Um, what else do we have? Gnome Do, Help Image Viewer, Lucky Backup, uh, Shutter, Capture, Edit and Share Screenshots. Oh, this must be the sort of now playing thing which comes onto your desktop. Okay, it's updating the plugin information. You know, there's definitely a lot of stuff on here. Ah, uh, games. They have Play on Linux already installed, which is pretty nice. GJL Game Manager. I've never used um, this before. So we have Shutter open. Ah, uh, you can configure the Game Manager. I'm not very familiar. I have never tried Play on Linux or Wine before. I just don't see the point. I just dull boot. Uh, disc wrapper, cover designer for homemade discs, image viewer, lacy, CD DVD labeler, uh, LibreOffice, it has LibreOffice draw, I presume it has the whole LibreOffice suite of programs, LRF viewer, viewer for LRF files, Sony ebook, you know, it really has a lot of stuff on it, you know, a lot of stuff you won't need actually, Pinter, easily create and edit images, rapid photo downloader, download photos and videos from cameras, memory cards, some portable storage devices, shop roll, simple scan, hmm, they definitely have a lot on the internet, deluge, BitTorrent client, which we saw before, Dropbox, you know, that's a nice addition, Empathy, Firefox, Frostwire, yeah, Okay, Gribba, what's this? Mumble, a low latency, high quality voice chat program for gaming. Yeah, I've never used that before. No point opening it now since my hardware is in Windows. PMS Linux, Java UPnP media server dedicated to PS3. You know, like they include stuff for the PS3 and the Sony ebook reader. You know, they maybe go a little bit overboard. Ramina, remote desktop client, connect to remote desktops. They have Skype, which is nice. They have Java, which is nice. TeamViewer 6, yeah, that's nice, though not everyone would use that. Thunderbird, XChat, and you know, they have um, LibreOffice, they have a dictionary, and what's this? Calibra, ebook library management. Sound and video, Arista, Transcoder, convert multimedia for all your devices. Razero, DVD. Allows to create video CDs and DVDs suitable to be reproduced in home DVD players. Oh, that looks nice. Digital TV Control Center, Schedule Recordings and Browse Programming Guide. Digital TV Setup. Oh, I would be interested in having a look at what program this is for actually. Because I um, always use my digital TV tuner with caffeine, usually. Uh, G2K Pod iPod Manager. Yeah, that's nice. Handbrake, Transcodes, uh, DVD and other media. LB, LXBD player, movie player for Blu-ray, that's nice if you bothered to upgrade to a Blu-ray player, movie player, that's an okay application, open shop video editor, PMS Linux, again, rhythm box, sound recorder, VLC media player, XMBC media center, system tools, Alurus, a simple application installer in GNOME Tweaker, uh, bleach bit, free space and maintain privacy, Deja, DUP, back up your files, lucky backup, uh, 
lucky backup backup and sync your data with the power of R sync. Uh, so you know you've got two different backup utilities. You know VirtualBox is nice. Then again, you know it's targeted at beginners, beginners, and you know some of these applications you know aren't going to be used by beginner users. And you know there's a lot of there's just, there's just a bit too much in this operating system for my liking. Phone manager, receive and send text messages from your mobile phone. System profiler and benchmark, yeah, that's all right. Ubuntu Software Center, so they have the Ubuntu Software Center and the, um, you know, package manager. Ubuntu Trick, yeah, that's a nice thing to include by default. Unit booting, tool for creating live USB drives. Oh, they have Wine, Browse C drive configure, Notepad, uninstall, Wine Tricks. You know, administration, this should all be pretty similar and preferences it should be pretty similar to um, you know the administration of preferences in Ubuntu so as you can tell there is definitely a lot in this distribution I would personally rather just install Ubuntu and you know select what I actually want rather than having to go through the difficulty of removing everything I don't want like I'm never going to use you know the Sony ebook reader application or the application for the PS3 you know it's just a bit too much Okay, system pin guy OS 11.04, the i686 build, and it's got the kernel version. Okay, it's got two CPUs here. Uh, okay, how much RAM it's using? I gave this virtual machine just over two gigs of RAM. Uh, disk uh, swap file, the total uptime. I've had it up and running for just over 18 minutes. The total processors and the CPU and RAM information here. Uh, yep, that's the correct um, time and date, and the hard drive, you know, how much is in use and how much is um, free, the networking information, it has your IP address, you know, your local and public IP address, so, um, yeah, you know, it's pretty nice, um, you know, like, I quite like, um, I like this OS, though, it's just got too much, you know, too much out of the box, it's almost a bit um, overwhelming, you know, and a lot of this stuff you won't need if the truth be told. You're better off, um, you know, starting with a limited amount of applications and just adding what you need rather than starting off with a lot of junk. You know, look at all this stuff at the top here. You know, I would recommend downloading it if you have the bandwidth and checking it out. Keep in mind it is a 1.6 um, gigabyte download. You know, it's a lot bigger than um, Ubuntu, which can still fit on a CD. Um, so yeah, you know, check it out. Tell me what you think about it. And thanks for watching.